Hey yo, what's up guys, John Boogle here and today we got an interesting video and it's a discussion video and I'm pretty sure you guys read the title and saw the thumbnail for this video already so you know what this discussion is going to be about but here it is what makes a skilled battle cats player in my opinion now in the background here i'm just gonna have some gameplay of some stages so it'll just be something to look at while i discuss this interesting topic about skill in battle cats first of all of course i'm gonna go through and discuss all the points of all the stuff that I think that do not require skill in Battle Cats and what makes a skilled player, what defines a skilled player in Battle Cats. And I'll give my opinions on the things that make people think what defines Battle Cat skill and what gives a skilled tag on players for this game. What is the thing that makes you skillful in this game? And there's a couple of them I want to discuss, a couple of them that I think are wrong, in my opinion, of course. But everyone thinks differently, and this is pretty much a discussion video, so if you want to debate in the comments, feel free to. But just know, this is my point of view of things. Now before we start off, just to let you guys know, I'm no noob at Battle Cats. I started playing Battle Cats the month after the English release, so what was it, October or November, somewhere around that time. And ever since, I've been playing Battle Cats, so I did take a break in 2018, that's when I actually quit Battle Cats, but there are some reasons to that, and if you want to see those reasons, it's in the 10k Q&A video, but anyways, going back on track here so I do have lots of experience with this game it's not like I just came up out of nowhere and now here I am discussing about skill in Battle Cats I've been here for quite a long time I was playing during the time where true forms didn't have the gold background and it was just the same background as normal evolved units they didn't have that nice gold background and I remember that very clearly so I'm not no new player to Battle Cats. Well now that we got that out of the way, let's go into the first thing that people think defines skill in Battle Cats. And believe it or not, there is people that do think this thing I'm going to talk about does define skill in Battle Cats. And I've seen it a lot everywhere throughout all the times I've played Battle Cats. And that thing is, of course, game completion. Yes, there are some people out there that do think game completion is something that defines a skilled player in Battle Cats. If you're not sure what I mean about game completion, I'm talking about completing the whole game as it says. Completing all of SOL, UL, all the event stages, all Cats of the Cosmos, Empire of Cats, everything you've completed the whole game and all that's left to do is farm ads and get all your gotchas to max level and I've been there twice actually but obviously this isn't a thing that defines a skilled player in battle cats pretty much anyone can pull this off it may be difficult for some people but just because you have game completion doesn't make you a skilled player in Battle Cats. You know, it might take a long time or it might be difficult for some different people, but it isn't something that defines a skillful player in Battle Cats. Someone can be a skilled player in Battle Cats without completing the game, but there are some ways you can go about completing the game and that might make you a skilled player but those are intricate arguments that anyone could get into and let's say you completed the whole game with only 4 star and level 30 units. Well, that is a pretty skillful feat and not to the point where it defines you as a top skilled Battle Cats player because using stuff like that also does require a lot of luck. 
RNG is a big thing in this game and you can't determine someone's skill when there's so much RNG involved when using stuff like 4 star level 30 units for game completion. So you can make a fair case there but other than that there is really no way game completion can define your skill in Battle Cats. But that's one of the easier things to talk about when trying to describe skill in Battle Cats. There is also another very big topic that is always talked about and always brought up during a skilled debate for Battle Cats players and it is of course timing units. Now this is one of the more debatable topics in this video. Now of course there's the more simpler stuff in timing which is of course just stalling or following different stage patterns but then there comes the more difficult versions of timing which is cheesing or clipping through units that does require some very precise timing and of course there's always chaining as well so let's get the obvious ones out of here of course stalling is not a skill in battle cats anyone can stall properly with the right amount of practice or no practice at all it is pretty much just cat spam and timing your spam correctly or coordinated in some way that's basically what stalling is but Moving on to more complicated stuff like chaining, yes you can argue this can be a skill someone has but this is something anyone can obtain with more practice and it's not like it's something that separates the Battle Cats players and people that are able to chain or on a different skill level unless there's stuff like clipping. Now this does require some very precise timing and like the other previous two with enough practice this can be done as well on the same level but being able to consistently pull off chaining and clipping can be argued as skill but how I see it in my eyes is anyone can pull this off with enough practice and time anyone can be very good at chaining or clipping or cheesing and all the other intricate timings in this game all it requires is some investment into the game and that investment is more time literally you can go from a complete noob to being able to cheese manic flying every single time with the bahamut clip and bam so does that make you a skilled player? Arguably some people might say so but I see it as an obtainable skill that doesn't really define a skilled Battle Cats player. It is something anyone can obtain super easily by just putting in more time into the game. So being able to consistently pull off things like clipping through units with a Bahamut on stages like this like a little flying that can be a fair point to consider some skill but pretty much with enough practice anyone is able to do so so in my eyes it isn't what defines a skilled player in battle cats and of course at the end of the video i'm gonna explain what i truly think makes a skilled player in battle cats now there's three more things i want to talk about before i get into that and one of them is another debatable one but first let's get the two quick arguments out of the way now going back on the topic of game completion there's some people out there that do think collecting all the ubers is a skillful thing to do in battle cats and sometimes i question my sanity when I see that. There's also some people think that having a high user rank defines skill in Battle Cats as well. And of course, I strongly disagree with both of these things. But there is one thing in game completion 
that can be argued as skill and I did talk a little bit about it earlier in the video and that is of course going through the game with restrictions or self limitations. Now first let's hop into what arguments can be brought up in this case and then after that I'll explain why I think it does not count as a true skill in Battle Cats. So let's say, let's bring up the other example I used previously. Going through the whole game with 4 star restrictions and level 30 units. Well this might seem like a completely impossible feat. Somewhere down the line this is going to become very possible. And this may be a very skillful thing to accomplish. But like I explained earlier, it's not all skill here. Usually when you restrict yourself to do these challenges and complete these difficult tasks, there is lots of RNG involved and RNG is not a true definition of skill, it's just luck. Pretty much you have your good runs, you have your bad runs, if you get a good run then cool, you get lucky in that run it's not always all skill. There's always going to be RNG involved the more you limit yourself. And of course, the more you limit yourself, the more RNG is involved. And on the other side of the spectrum, let's say you take away the level 30 restriction here. Well, that just makes it not difficult at all really because then you can just hypermax all your units and make up for the RNG that's involved but having those hypermaxed units does in fact fill in some of the RNG involved but there still is a little bit and it's not like having boosted units in these situations will define your skill. See this is a debatable one only if you factor out power creep because of course power creep can make up for the restriction you're taking here so if you just have hypermax units and you restrict yourself to 4 star or other restrictions that are not levels then it's going to be pretty simple as long as you maintain yourself and know how to do things properly. It isn't really too skillful but the thing that people mistake for skill is the RNG involved when doing these things. So this is why I truly do not see as self-restriction or self-limitation as a skill in Battle Cats because there's just too much RNG involved in these things and it's too hard to dictate what is skill and what's RNG. But now I'm sure you all must be wondering, Boogle. What the hell can possibly define a skill player in Battle Cats? What can you possibly think makes a skilled player in Battle Cats with all of these points brought up? Well that of course I'm going to obviously answer in this video and that is the main topic of the video of what I think makes a skilled Battle Cats player and here we go. This is what I think makes a skilled Battle Cats player. Here we are at the climax of the video and I'm gonna tell you exactly what I think makes a skilled Battle Cats player. Now there's two big things that can be broken down into two more topics but first of course I'll list the two things here. Now the first thing that I think defines a skill in Battle Cats is creating strategies and the second thing is of course being able to reverse engineer a stage and make up a lineup or a strategy from that process. Now let's talk about the first thing. So creating strategies. This can be taken a lot of ways and I'm not talking about making guides or Posting guides on YouTube, that's not what makes a skilled player in Battle Cats. Creating these strategies makes a true skilled player in Battle Cats. This is one of the true skills in Battle Cats. Earlier, I explained how pulling off these cheese strategy timings 
is not really considered a skill in Battle Cats, but the true skill here is making these strategies. The people who have the mind to come up with these cheese strategies and make these cheese strategies and make different strategies for different levels, that is a true skill in Battle Cats. You know, it's easy to follow a cheese strategy, but making your own cheese strategy is not a thing everyone can do. This is one of the things I think makes a skilled Battle Cats player. This is a true skill to have in this game. Making strategies and improvising strategies without any help, just on your own, from nothing and from complete scratch and you somehow manage to make a strategy for the level or make a cheese strategy for the level on your own and maybe you collabed with a couple people and this is what people used to do before and people would gather together and try to come up with strategies to beat these difficult levels but the very true skill is being able to do this on your own and there isn't that many people that are able to do so. Now you can probably see why how my other point is more proved in this argument here because following and executing cheese strategies is pretty easy to do. All you need is some timing and practice but if you are the one that made the cheese strategy and went through the awful grind of just trying to come up with a strategy for the stage or a cheese strategy that is a skill that only a minuscule of players have in this game and it is something people should treasure a lot more now like i said this can be broken down into a smaller category which is improvising and this is another small skill that i do believe makes or defines a skilled Battle Cats player. Being able to improvise strategies on the go is truly a very nice skill to have and a very real skill to have in this game. And that is the one big point that I think defines a skilled Battle Cats player. Being able to create strategies and improvise different strategies is one of the points. Now let's hop into the second point which is of course reverse engineering. Now this can kind of be put into the same category as creating strategies but it's something that should not be ignored because it is a true skill in Battle Cats and that is having the ability to hop into a stage and analyze the stage and reverse engineer the stage to make a strategy or make a lineup for that stage and that is something that should not be ignored that is a very key skill to have in this game and it's one of the things that i think truly defines a skilled battle cast player and of course this can be taken to another level and being able to do this on the fly by just hopping into a stage completely reverse engineering the stage to make a counter lineup for the level that's a skill that should not be ignored and it's very of course minimum it's very rare not a lot of people have this skill and that pretty much answers the question of what i think makes a skilled battle cast player being able to create these strategies being able to reverse engineer stages and having these two abilities and those two other smaller abilities like improvising it's really not a thing that should be ignored and it is what i think truly defines a skilled player in battle cats and what separates others from skill in this game but yeah that's what i think makes a skilled player in battle cats let me guys know what you think makes a skilled player in Battle Cats. I'm kind of excited to see your guys' points and arguments for this exciting and interesting topic of skill in Battle Cats. Of course, 
at the end of the day, Battle Cats is just really a game about clicking squares and sending out your power creeps units, but you can't ignore the things that I talked about, which is coming up with strategies or creating strategies and reverse engineering stages, stuff like that is stuff that should not be ignored in this game and should be taken a lot more seriously and looked upon more in the Battle Cats community. But yeah, hope you guys did enjoy this video. It's a nice little discussion video. Of course, drop a like if you did enjoy this video. Subscribe if you're new. Join the hashtag Google Gang. And that's pretty much it for this video. It's been John Google. And see ya.